What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya, and in today's lesson, we're going to focus on the proficiency exam by doing a quiz that I've prepared for you. It's based on my mistakes when I was doing a lot of sample tests two years ago. Are you ready to accept my advanced challenge? If so, grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's dive in. So first, I'm going to give you 10 sentences with two options, A and B, and you're going to choose the correct answer, write it down, and in the second part of the lesson, I'm going to give you the correct answers and you're going to find out your score. So let's get started. The first sentence, because of the elephant in the room, I decided. A. To make no mention of the subject or B. To give no mention of the subject. Because of the elephant in the room, I decided A. To make no mention of the subject or to give no mention of the subject. So choose A or B and really important, write it down. Now let's move on to our second sentence, which is he gave no explanation A about his delay or B for his delay. He gave no explanation A about his delay or B for his delay. So choose the correct preposition A or B. Let's continue our sentence number three, option A. According to my best knowledge, the meeting has been put off. Or option B, to the best of my knowledge, the meeting has been put off. So A, according to my best knowledge, the meeting has been put off. Or option B, to the best of my knowledge, the meeting has been put off. So choose A or B and remember to write it down. Number four, it's a question. What are our chances in reaching the summit, A, or B, of reaching the summit? What are our chances, A, in reaching the summit, or B, of reaching the summit? So make your choice. Number five, the old house, A, crumbled into dust or B, shattered into dust. So A, the old house crumbled into dust, or B, the old house shattered into dust. Choose the correct verb in this case. Let's move on to our sentence number six. There are new museum A, pieces, or B, items. There are new museum pieces, A, or there are new museum items, B. So make a choice. Number seven, I link great importance to a healthy lifestyle, or B, I attach great importance to a healthy lifestyle. So A, I link great importance to a healthy lifestyle, or option B, I attach great importance to a healthy lifestyle. Choose the correct verb. Number eight, his grumpiness, A, stems from the fact that he's fed up with his job, or B, his grumpiness sprouts from the fact that he's fed up with his job. So choose, A, his grumpiness stems from the fact that he's fed up with his job, or B, his grumpiness sprouts from the fact that he's fed up with his job. So make a choice, A or B, stems or sprouts. Our second to last sentence, I have no intention, A, to talk you out of this, or B, of talking you out of this. So I have no intention, A, to talk you out of this, or B, of talking you out of this. Choose A or B. And the last sentence, A, please 
keep eyes on my suitcase while I'm gone or B please keep tabs on my suitcase while I'm gone. So please keep eyes on my suitcase while I'm gone, option A, or option B, please keep tabs on my suitcase while I'm gone. So the last sentence, choose A or B. And now I'm going to give you the correct answers. The first sentence, the correct option is A. Because of the elephant in the room, I decided to make no mention of the subject. So to make mention of something means to bring up something. And in this sentence, we've got a very interesting idiom, which is an elephant in the room. It means that there is an obvious problem or difficult situation that nobody wants to discuss. Our sentence number two, the correct answer is B. He gave no explanation for his delay. So the preposition you have to use after the noun explanation is for, an explanation for something. Let's continue our sentence number three. The correct answer is also B. To the best of my knowledge, the meeting has been put off. So the phrase to the best of my knowledge means as far as I know. Let's continue number four. The correct answer is also B. What are our chances of reaching the summit? So the correct preposition you need to use after a chance is of. A chance of doing something. Number five, the correct answer is A. The old house crumbled into dust. We use the verb to crumble when we talk about a building or a piece of land that breaks into small pieces. Was it correct? Number six, the correct answer is A. There are new museum pieces. It's a collocation. We need to use the word piece with museum. A museum piece. So remember this collocation. Let's continue our sentence number seven. The correct answer is B. I attach great importance to a healthy lifestyle. It's also a collocation to attach importance to something. Let's continue our sentence number eight. The correct answer is option A. His grumpiness stems from the fact that he's fed up with his job. So the verb to stem from something means to be caused by something. Was it correct? Okay, now let's move on to our second to last sentence. The correct answer is option B. I have no intention of talking you out of this. So the preposition you have to use after to have no intention is of. To have no intention of doing something. And here we have a very advanced phrasal verb to talk somebody out of something. It appeared in my proficiency exam and this phrasal verb to talk somebody out of something means to persuade somebody not to do something. So a very useful phrasal verb to bear in mind. And last but not least, our sentence number 10, the correct option is B. Please keep tabs on my suitcase while I'm gone. So the verb to keep tabs on something or somebody means to watch something or somebody carefully. Was it correct? And guys, there is a bonus question for you. The sentence is James A has no resemblance to his father or B bears no resemblance to his father. So choose the correct answer, A or B. Leave 
the correct option in the comments below and I'll give you the correct answer in our next lesson. So guys, how did it go? Did anybody get everything correct? Please let me know your score in the comments below. And if you want to do one more proficiency quiz, check out this lesson right here. And of course, if you enjoyed this quiz, I would be really grateful if you could give it a huge thumbs up, share it with your friends and family who are learning English and subscribe to my channel. And remember to catch me on Instagram and do my daily quiz there. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!